Yeah, well, a heartwarming story for a nice little warm up for our forecast okay. today. Mild temperatures, but cloudy start this morning. This is a live look from our BJCC Tower Cam. 64 is our current temperature, and that's not too bad, even for my old self, you know. I'll take mid 60s in mid February. 62 in Cleveland, you've got 61 in Gadsden, Coleman, 64 in Jasper right now with a dry scan on our storm track radar. We, get, we're, we are getting a few reports of some heavier drizzle at spots due to the dense cloud cover this morning and even some patchy fog. Wouldn't be surprised if we have a couple of little blips on the radar. Sometimes it doesn't actually show up on that initial scan. Some of that rain is actually falling below that 10,000 feet. That's where that first little scan happens where it puts out information there on our radar. So as we move through the day, you can expect mostly a cloudy sky and temperatures will be in the mid 60s by 9 o'clock. By 11 a.m., 68 degrees, 1 o'clock temperatures at 71. And then as we move deeper into the afternoon between about 3 and 4 this afternoon, mid 70s. But I want to get right to the rate, uh, the maps showing the rain on our future cast because that's when we're going to see some big changes. As for today, maybe a spotty shower here and there. Coverage will only be at about 20%. We're not looking at widespread soaking showers for our Thursday. As we move into Thursday night and into Friday morning, we could see a few showers popping up south of I-20, and this will just provide for what I call inconsequential wet weather and uh, maybe waking up tomorrow morning to some dew on the grass or some uh, leftover rain showers there on the uh, some raindrops on the windshield. And then as we move through Friday morning, that cold front begins to move into northwest Alabama from Hamilton over towards Coleman. It's going to be wet out there Friday morning, and then that will continue through the afternoon through central Alabama from Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, Talladega. Then from 3 to 5 p.m., it pushes south of I-20, and then that will impact places like Calera, Clanton over towards Alexander City. By 7, 8 o'clock Friday, the rain's gone. Clouds will still be holding on, though. And then look what happens early Saturday morning. That rain begins to return, and I want to show you very quickly what we could expect to start the weekend. Heavier showers in North Alabama Saturday morning, even through the early afternoon before that starts sagging south Saturday night, and then those showers begin to taper as we round out the weekend.